economically what's happening in the pure biters so, so the question is when you do this so what does that mean for me you buy cheaper you possibly change the way you source you sell more expensive exactly you change your posing kit from being worth 12 grand to like 30. okay fern we've got to go back to auction and buy some more beautiful things <laughs> not a major oh, deal I was tough, in it? You know, I embarrassed my family by going to London and going around the Conrun shop going, click, click. And they're just like, oh, mum, you're so embarrassing. I just take photos. I, I have a day of research and I go around all, all the lovely design shops um, and, and just take photos. I feel that a trip to Copenhagen may be needed. Mm. Yes. Go and have a look at Neptune. Who's they Neptune? Dress up. Don't, if, you, if you ever want design ideas for taking your houses up market, go find your local Neptune and just go around and photograph the whole place. <laughs> I've got the whole lot on my phone, so if anyone wants to have a look. I'm going to be a little Bristol. beautifully done. All right, me lover. We don't know who Neptune is in Brazil. <laughs> Uh, the other thing to think about in terms of the sales is what magazines do you men and ladies subscribe to? So hands up who subscribes to house magazines. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your market. Is that by proxy? No, it's paper. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. They're a business expense. They're expensible. They are a business expense. We, because we are an urban market, a marketeer of houses, we subscribe to living, etc. Um, and we just look at what's coming in, what's hot. Um, I keep them all and I mood board once a year. So we will just revisit and understand what's hot. So house magazine and hands up who goes to new developments to see what the big guy's doing. Yeah, so only half the room. Why are you not um, um, researching your competition? And understanding some of the stuff you might think, oh, that's awful. And some of the stuff, the thing that going to new developments gave me at the moment is masses of confidence. Um, obviously, I never want to be rude to anybody. But inside my head, I'm going, you're selling that for how much? That's mental. In Bristol, I think it's a three bed, so please forgive my, if I've got it wrong, it's a three bed flat that I went round um, with my weightlifting coach, who by the way, um, Team GB got one place in the Olympics. He was at the Europeans last Friday, um, I, I, and I'm really close to him, you know, we're really good friends. Um, team GB got one place in the Olympics. He had to play strategically to get the team in, so he couldn't blast out the weights that he can actually do. And now the British, they decide which male goes to the Olympics. Well, he's ranked number one in Britain right now. <laughs> so, so I'm glad we don't do mentoring in August because Rio, here I come. <laughs> you know? So fingers crossed. Oh my God. So, um, in, in, uh, we actually do living, etc. Um, uh, okay, so Living Etc is very much an urban, trendy, design conscious magazine. If you were to go out to cafes in London, uh, Thomas, would you not tick, tick, tick all the things that are probably, you know, all their seats? Probably, I don't have time to go to cafes in London. <laughs> 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 probably developer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So living, we find for the urban city look, Living Etc. If you were doing country houses, you'd want to look at home, you know, ho um, homes and gardens, country living. So homes and gardens are a little bit more establishment. Country living is a little bit more middle market. Um, just have a perusal of your magazines and, um, you know, men just get a brown, brown paper bag and stick them in going, oh, I'm sorry, I'm really embarrassed. But this is your marketplace. So understand what it, what it requires because it's a retail marketplace.